side of the world, there is a country called Happy Land, where the trees are a hundred feet tall, and where the sun shines hotter than here. And, as you might very well expect, everybody who lives in Happy Land is as happy as the day is long. Wherever you go, you see smiling faces all around. It's such a happy place that even the flowers seem to smile in Happy Land. And as well as all the people being happy, all the animals in Happy Land are happy as well. If you've never seen a mouse smile, or a cat, or a dog, or even a worm, you go to Happy Land. Now, this story is about somebody who lives there, and who happens to be called Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy is fat, and round, and happy. He lives in a small cottage beside a lake at the foot of a mountain and close to a wood. One day, while Mr. Happy was out walking through the tall trees in those woods near his home, he came across something which is really rather extraordinary. There, in the trunk of one of the very tall trees, was a door, not a very large door, but nevertheless, a door. A small, narrow, yellow door. I wonder who lives here, thought Mr. Happy to himself. And he turned the handle of that small, narrow, yellow door. The door wasn't locked, and it swung open quite easily. Mr. Happy squeezed his rather large body through the rather thin doorway. Just inside the small, narrow, yellow door was a small, narrow, winding staircase leading downwards. The stairs went round and round and down and down and round and round and down and down. Eventually, after a long time, Mr. Happy reached the bottom of the staircase. He looked around and saw, there in front of him, Another small, narrow door, but this one was red. Mr. Happy knocked at the door. Who's there? said a voice. Sad, squeaky sort of voice. Who's there? Mr. Happy pushed open the red door slowly. And who do you think he saw? There, sitting on a stool, was somebody who looked exactly like Mr. Happy, except that he didn't look happy at all. In fact, he looked downright miserable. Hello, Mr. Happy. I'm Mr. Happy. Oh, how are you indeed? Sniffed the person who looked like Mr. Happy but wasn't. Well, my name's Mr. Miserable. And I'm the most miserable person in the world. Why are you so miserable, asked Mr. Happy. Because I am, replied Mr. Miserable. How would you like to be happy like me, asked Mr. Happy. I'd give anything to be happy, said Mr. Miserable. Well, I'm so miserable, I don't think I ever could be happy, he added miserably. Mr. Happy made up his mind quickly. Follow me, he said. Where to? asked Mr. Miserable. Don't argue, said Mr. Happy. And he went out through the small, narrow red door. Mr. Miserable hesitated and then followed. Up and up the winding staircase they went. Up and up and round and round and up and round and round and up until they came out through the yellow door and into the wood. Follow me, said Mr. Happy again, and they both set off through the wood back to Mr. Happy's cottage. Mr. Miserable stayed in Mr. Happy's cottage for quite some time. And during that time, the most remarkable thing happened. Because he was living in Happy Land, Mr. Miserable, ever so slowly, stopped being miserable. The corners of his mouth stopped turning down 
and ever so slowly started turning up. And eventually, Mr. Miserable did something that he'd never done in the whole of his life. He smiled. And then, and then he chuckled, which turned into a giggle, which became a laugh. A big, booming, hearty, huge, giant, large, enormous laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Happy was so surprised that he started to laugh as well. And bo both of them laughed and laughed. They, they, oh, they laughed. They laughed until their sides hurt and uh, their eyes watered. <laughs> Mr. Miserable Mr. Mr. laughed and laughed and laughed. And Mr. Happy laughed and laughed and laughed. And because... Because they were laughing so much, everybody who saw them started laughing as well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, even the birds started, in the trees started to laugh at the thought of somebody called Mr. Miserable who just couldn't stop, they couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that really is the end of the story. <coughs> I accept to say that uh, if ever you feel as miserable as Mr. Miserable, well, you know exactly what to do, don't you? Just turn the corners of your mouth up. Go on. Try it. Thank you.